Bouncing ball to the right side. They're coming home with it. The throw is away from the catcher, Maldonado. Tom Hallion got taken out by Robert. A boy who goes into the third. Ball, the ball hit the runner. Grandal was inside the line. The throw home hit the runner. It hit his helmet, right? He was inside the line, and the ball hit hit hit, hit him when Gurriel threw it home. I don't think you can do that. Oh, it's going to be a dead ball potentially rules, here. I don't think you can do that. <laughs> dead ball potentially here. First off, is Hallion okay after yeah. Luis Robert came charging in at home plate? <laughs> what in the world Wild just happened? Play. Wild, <laughs> wild. He would have been out at the plate, but he was way inside. What did how? What happened to Hallion? He got trucked by Luis, Luis Robert. Robert came oh, charging home. I mean, so here's Red the play. way inside. Like, so I mean, he's crazy inside the baseline right here. Like, he's in the grass, doesn't get out of the way. The ball hits him, and then Luis Robert's sliding in and just takes out Tom Hallion at the plate. Oh, yeah. Wacky play in Boston, and now this in Chicago. So let's get this out of the way. It's not runner's lane interference. The 45-foot line has nothing to do with this play since the line only applies to plays going to first base, not plays coming from first base. It's plays on the batter runner at first base, not teammates at another base. That's what Tom Hallion is about to tell Dusty Baker. The biggest glove I've ever seen. Now Dusty's Dusty going to lose it right yeah, now. Yeah, he's going to get the explanation here. He's way inside the line. I mean, he was in the grass. Yeah. Saying it doesn't matter where he runs. See, that's precisely it. RLI does not apply. Here's the question, though. Isn't it? Isn't the the 45 foot box right? Now there are two rules in baseball that cause a lot of issues. The first is infield fly, and the second is runner's lane interference. Now, just remember, the lane only matters when the ball is fielded to first base. As far as the runner being in the grass, this is treated like any other runner at any other base with the thrown ball. The runner is allowed to choose their own base path. Hallion gives like a chicken wing gesture, which is shorthand for saying the umpires will not call interference unless there is clear intent on behalf of the runner. And we don't see clear intent, so it's not interference. If it was with a batted ball, sure, but not a thrown ball. I'm not going to say he did that on purpose, right, right, right. but he did that on purpose. He, he did not do it on purpose. Yeah, kinda, that might be the See, here's the thing, and it's such a difficult concept, but I'm going to try anyway. The rule doesn't talk about a habitual running motion or anything like that. You get to choose your own base path every single time out, and that is what you judge based on. I mean, that was... Rundell's already inside the line. That was, he didn't go out of his... So even though it looks really suspicious, Grandal is legally allowed to run on the grass. Because this is a thrown ball from first base and not a batted ball or a throw to first base, it is the fielder's responsibility to clear the runner, not the other way around, unless, as Hellion signaled, an intentional chicken wing or something like that occurred. I mean, that was... As far as the broadcasters, unfortunately, the analysts don't seem to actually know the rule, but the play-by-play -play Adam Amin gives a pretty good, concise, and generally accurate look at this play. So listen to Adam's summary. It's really good, especially with the time crunch and all the pressure on. Well done to Adam here. So let's piece this together, by the way. Again, the lane line, so to speak, is where Grandal establishes it. So he's going right out of the box. That throw, by the way, doesn't apply the, with the with the base runner only applies if he's getting thrown out at first base. So that's a throw that comes home. It's a choice from okay. the first baseman in that in that instance in Guriel. So the ball is live until it isn't at the end of that play. That's why the run comes across after all of that. Abreu ended up at third. It's Grandal at first base. Fielder's choice RBI E3 on Guriel. And it's eight to six White Sox. Still nobody out. And now Jimenez at the plate with runners at the corners.